Good day, Divergence Traders. How are all of us doing today? I hope everybody's well and fine and did some winning trades today. Um, okay, let's take a look at this here. I can already see the long setup before it happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, where was the trade of today? Well, there was one at the tail end. Yeah, there was one at the tail end of the UK session. Okay, and it was right here. So we put in a high right here and higher highs right there. Okay, and on the indicator, it was like right from here down here so you would have sold when the five crossed below here you would have had your order right below one two three four five five minute candles you would have had it right there at least i would anyway until you know you had to break that support and the stop was like 27 points 28 points and it went down 38 points so you would have got your one to one win loss ratio on that trade and that was to sell basically at right on the open of the u.s session this is the start of the u.s session eight o'clock then what did we have well then we had the huge trade <laughs> it's huge right here a pullback just like that and right here from the deep valley to the shallow Valley right over here. There's the divergence. Okay, you see it? Yeah, it's right there. So, if you did this trade, you would have got long right in there. Okay, the five did not cross below the seven. Your stop would have been right under here. Okay, so if you got in long right there and your stop was, say, 50 points, guess what? <laughs> 275 points it went up so you definitely got your one to one two to one three to one you would have got them all this doesn't happen very often ladies and gentlemen this long trend because the market chops up and down in a sideways channel or range at least 70% of the time, if not 80% of the time. Most people say 80. I think it's a little bit less. Um, and the other 20 to 30% of the time, it does a trend like this. So if you didn't get in here, right, this big bullish candle said, hello, <laughs> are you out there? You, if you missed the train down here and you didn't get on here, you better get on the train here and, and buckle up and hold on to your hat because here we go. <laughs> oh, my old broker used to say that to me. He's there. Hold on to your hat. Here we go. <laughs> after, I would, after he would get me in a trade. We're talking 20 years ago now, over 20 years ago. Yeah, one of the best grain analysts in the world. His name was Tim Hannigan out of Chicago. He passed away now. He was my first mentor. Anyway, this is what happened here with this. Um, and I just want to say congrats to Bye Bye Money. He did an awesome trade today. He caught this run up, but he didn't catch it up ca catch it up on the NASDAQ. He, he, he trades the S&P. 500. Right on, Mr. Panda. <laughs> Shout out to you. Okay, let's look at uh, the Dow now. Okay, do we have that same trade? We do. We have those same trades. There's one here, high and higher high. See? Right there. Um, and right there. Now, if you waited for it to come back here and get in here just below this support, okay, your stop 
would have been up here 40 points and it went down 56 points you would have you'd be okay you would have got your one-to-one -one. and then we have the hard to see hidden divergence which is right here okay right there like that and right here like this this one is going up this one's going down it's divergent and we would have got in right here same time exact same time same channel right here just like the nasdaq did so if you got in here your stop would be down here at the recent swing low that's where we put our stop because if you put it too close they're going to come and get it that's what they did with this little wick here so anyway it went up wow 350 points that's a big one yeah and if you did some scalp trades well there's one right here you got to wait for it to come back into the five sometimes it takes a couple candles because it was such a big move up this was a perfect one right here no drawdown lower closing candle buy on the open of the next one up it goes whammo 100 points in 15 minutes <coughs> oh what <laughs> sorry about that i just had a little hissy coughing spat after i took a little sip of my water here jeez i drink some of the best water in the world it comes from Lake Huron in Canada, and I get it from this this place. So it's like you know where they do the reverse osmosis. So good, no smell, no bad taste, just pure water from the heavens of the Great Lake. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Um, okay. Oh, we have a we have a trade up here. We have a a high. We have a retracement, and then we have a higher high, right? Yeah. Let's grab that. And right here. And we got to put the little arrow on there. Right there. So, if you got short up here, that's 86 point stop. And it only went down 74. I would not take this this trade here myself because it's been in an uptrend since, you know, way over here. Uptrend. So it's very hard for me to take these, like, short trades on a bullish run because I got burned so many times. So <clears throat> I showed the trade, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't advise it. And let me tell you why. Let me show you why and tell you why. Watch this. We're going to go to the 15 minute time frame. Now you see up here, my filter is if the five is above the seven, there's no selling. Okay. So right here, no selling, no selling, even though there was a trade here. See, no selling, no selling in here, no selling from up here because the five is still even now above the seven EMA that's my filter because I got burned so many times doing that taking the where I should have been buying I was selling and I was getting burned so this is how you stop that you go to an upper time frame whatever it doesn't matter what time frame you're trading if you're trading the hour then you go up to the four hour if you're trading the four hour then you go up to the daily if the four hour is telling you to sell and the daily is bullish don't sell You'll save yourself loss losses. Let's go back to the five minute. Okay. Anyway, that's it for the Dow. Let's take a quick look at the S and P. Um, right here, we have the same identical trades. I'm not going to draw this one. It was right here. Sell here. You'd hit the the one to one. The divergence is here, here to here. High with a higher high, high with a lower high, and you would have sold below these. Same five five minute candles you would have sold right there. Instead, we're going to look at the hard to see bullish divergence, which is right here. Right here. 
right there. Let's put that arrow on there. And same, same, same entry right there. Same time, same channel, same Batman in disguise. Okay, so you would have got long right here. The five never crossed below the seven. See, right in here. Yeah. Okay, and up we went. Same kind of chart. Went up 44 points from there. This is the S&P 500. Okay, <clears throat> and there was a nice lower closing candle right here to buy it, and up it went. Uh, there's there's ones right here too that were good, and up it went. So they, those were all good trades. Let's look at oil. What did oil do today? Oh, chop shop, double high, double high. Here we go. Triple high. <laughs> okay. So we open up here. Let's see here. No. This was the opening bar, this baton here with a wick on each end of it. Um. Yeah, there's divergence here. Let me show you. So we have a low, right? And a lower low. Yep, we do. And we have a low here and a higher low right there, which gives us a signal to buy it right on the opening of this candle. So if we bought it on the opening of this candle, remember now this is divergence is our, our not divergence, resistance is right here, very close to your entry, okay? But as you can see, when we got in, it smoked right through the resistance, kept going up, 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 up. Went up like 50 points or so right up here. You did okay. Your stop would have been 27. You got you would have got like 55. So there's your two to one right there. That's 70, that line here, that's $73 a barrel. Can you see how they almost sold off of it? To me, they did sell off of it. Do you see how they bought off the pivot? Right here, boom. Sell off the 73, boom. You see that, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I'm just trying to find where's the trade up here. Okay, I, I see it, I see it. It's right here. We had a sell off of $73 a barrel. It came down, um, went back up again. So I would draw this, well, I, I would draw it like as a as a triple top like this. Okay, you're looking for the next trade, right? We're going to find it. It's right here, and it goes to right here. Kind of hard to see it, but it's there. And the entry would have been right there. We wouldn't want to do it there because we didn't have our, our double top then anyway. Right in here, you wouldn't want to sell in here. We didn't have our double, triple top. We needed it to make this high to create that, and that's where you got to wait, and we didn't cross here. We smacked it down here, and then the five crossed down below the seven right here. Right here was the entry. Seventy, you know, three dollars a barrel was our stop, and that's thirty-four ticks. And how much did we go down? We went down forty-nine ticks. We got our one-to-one -one win loss ratio on trade number two. Is there a trade over here to buy? No. Look at the big spike up too. There's no, there's no divergence here. See, from here to here, here to here, no. There's nothing. There's no divergence from this low and this low to draw them. However, there is divergence again. If you really, really want to look for it, it's yeah, it's right here. Okay. And from here down to here somewhere, somewhere in there, there, okay, and we had a big spike down, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to do that, so I'd want to wait for a pullback, so if I sold it here, it didn't go very far, and now it's going back up again, so you would have got screwed, and that's right at the end of our time to trade, it's, that's, that's 12 o'clock lunchtime right here, okay, I'm doing the video a little late today, it's 10 minutes after 12 right now, um, I was watching Bye Bye Money. <laughs> he did a good trade today. He lost thousands and then he, he didn't give up. He put up his fists again and said, I'm going to fight this. I'm going to get it back. 
and he did his big mama again, and he went from losing 2,500 to up 1,000 today. So good for him. Right on, Mr. Panda. That's what I was doing. That's why I'm just shooting my video late today. Anyway, okay. Let's move on. Oil, oil, oil. Let's look at the pound yen. Oh, look at the pound yen. Okay, where's the divergence now on the pound yen? Okay, well, I see it right here. It's right here to right here. This deep valley right up to here. And there was a buy right there. Yes, indeed. Let's put that arrow on. Let's try the thumbs up on this one. Boom. Thumbs up. Okay. So it's too bad it didn't come up a little bit slower and roll up a little slower instead of just did a blast. Oh, there, was, there must have been news there because it was 1530. I think there was news today. I don't know. I didn't check. Okay. Right here. You would have got in on the close of that candle. Went up 25. Your stop was like 25. You would have got it by the skin of your teeth. You see how they respect these lines, man? Look at this. Up to the line, sell off. Down to the line, buy it up. Up to the line, sell off. See right here? Almost touch it. Back up. Here they went through it, and then they went up. Trend it up. And see how they bounced off R3 again two times? That's why I got these lines on my chart, ladies and gentlemen. They're like a lifesaver, but there's I can understand there's a lot of people, including myself, when I first had this indicator created with uh, the 50s and the whole numbers. Can't see the whole number here because we got the R2 on top of it. But uh, this is 173, this line right here, this green line light green line there's a dark green line right beside it anyway and here it is 172.50 see right here the blue line i created that indicator a long time ago <coughs> shit i'm trying to trying to remember i think i created it for one of my old trading systems called forex u-turn it was called um anyway <coughs> i had it created back then that was like 20 10 or it was like 2010 i think it was or 2011 and i've had it on my charts at first for a while and i hated all these lines on here and i took it off and then now i put it back on like years later because it's just they're a lifesaver like they can stop you from getting into a bad trade they can help you to get out of a good trade they're just so helpful Anyway, let's move along here. Okay. Um, so, oh, we have a trade up here. Let me show you. So, there's this trade here. You got your one to one. And then there was another trade right here. We're going from a high to a higher high over here. Let's, oh, over here. Over here, over there, over everywhere. Okay. So, we would have got short right on the opening of this little candle here, this little evening star. We got short right there. Our stop, when I would have put it right here at 173.50. 28 pip stop. This is the pound yen, ladies and gentlemen. 28 pip stop. And it went down 30 pips. So guess what? You got your one-to-one. -one. Then it did a U-turn. And up it went. And that's it. That's it for the pound yen. Let's look at the euro yen. Oh. Euro yen, same trades? Probably. Right here, high and higher high. I'm sorry if it takes me long to go through these, uh, but I'm showing you all the setups that I that I see. And, uh, yeah, that's the way it is. So right here, it would have been a sell, okay? And guess what? It was, it was a loser. But at the same time, it was also a buy. So you see here, let me just show you. 
Let me put the arrow on there. So it's a cell right there. And then it was a buy right on the opening of this candle, even though it gapped down a little bit. This was a buy. Let me show you why. Hard to see divergence. So as you see, this is what's tricky about divergence, and this happens at, at times, where you get two opposite signals basically at the same time. Well, on the first cell, okay, I have a rule that when the five crosses back up against you, here it's crossed down, and you would sell right here. Then it crossed back up when this candle closed. So you would have jumped out of that trade. Is this 830? Yes, yeah, see, I wouldn't have done these trades here. There's news. There's news here. But anyway, say there was a news. And once this five crossed up after this candle, 10 minutes later, I would have dumped the sell. And if I was quick enough to, to see the buy trade, which is here, I would have jumped in somewhere in here. But uh, it was news, so it was a big spike up with the news. 26 pips, 45 to the top. Anyway, would have, could have, should have. That's what I would have done. I probably, you know, I wouldn't have done the sell, and I would have waited for the buy. Um, I would have looked and out of either it would have had to jump in somewhere along the way it was spiking up. Let me just go on the one minute and take a look at that. Okay. There was definitely time, yeah. But anyway, somewhere in here I would have jumped in. Uh, let's put my chart back. Okay. So I'll say I got in at R1 or right here. It went up 27 pips and my stop was 16. You would have got your one to one. So anyway, then up here, I don't see nothing up here. Um, yeah, this valley's deeper. There's no, there's no trade to sell it here and there's no trade to buy it here other than the five crossing down below the seven or the five crossing up above the seven. Because I also, also use that as entries. It has nothing, nothing to do with uh, divergence. Okay, let's look at gold. What did gold do? Holy crap, it did a dance up and down the pivot. <laughs> and a spike down from the news. Yes, indeed. Went down 80 points or so. Uh, down from the news at 8.30. And then it chopped... And there's one trade. Let me show it to you. It's right here. If you had the, <laughs> the patience to wait through all this, you would probably be going, oh, my God. If you bought in here because you thought, oh, look, big bullish candle, I just slammed it back down and suckered you into it. And if you sold it here, right, thinking, oh, yeah, it's going to go down, they, they bought it right back up, and your stop would have been right there. Do you see how they do this? Over and over and over again, they come and they hunt you down like a like a like a tiger hunting down its prey. That's what they do. They come and they go after your stops because they know where the orders are. They know if you if you if you sold it here, they know that your stop is right there and they're coming to get you. And that's what's so beautiful about divergence is most of the time it can be a, a you know a screw up as well. Most of the time, um, we get in. Let me just put that on there. I can't multi multitask too well. I'm fifty nine, man. I'm almost no, I'm almost fifty nine. June first, I'm fifty nine. Okay. So, get short here. Stop would have been 40. Went down 90. You got your 2 to 1 win-loss ratio right here. 
There's actually a trade down here, too. Let me just show it to you. Yeah. Right there, double, like a double bottom. And right there, just like that. And I would have got it in over here because the lines are too tight. I want to see some space between the 5 and the 7 because that means it's went up a little bit. So you would have got long here. Your stop would have been 40 points. It hasn't went 40 points yet. It's went 33. So we'll see if it goes up to here. And if it does, there's your 1 to 1 win-loss ratio. That is gold, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's look at our last instrument, the pound. Okay. Divergence is up here. We got highs all the way over here. High and higher high. I could draw it to that one too if I wanted to. And down here like this. Guess what? That's the new spike right there. So would you want to do this trade? <laughs> I don't I don't know. But if you got in, oh, geez, I got the hiccups now. If you got in right here, it only went down like 12 pips, and your stop was 22 pips. And uh, when it came back up against you, like me, I would have got out right here. Once the 5 crosses back up, this candle closed right there, I would have lost four, 4 pips. That's what would have happened with me. And then after that, there's another trade, and this is where you would make everything back. From here to here. From here to there. Let's get that last thing I need to click on right there. Okay, so you would have got short there. Your stop would have been right up here, 15 pips above R1, resistance 1. And 1, 2, 3, 4, and it went down. Went down 32 pips. That's 2 to 1 win-loss rate. <laughs> win-loss ratio. You would have done it. So you would have lost a little bit on this one, and you would have made it back plus, plus, plus more. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today is Friday, TGIF. Once again, this is Jason Sweezy, the divergence trader, who has a, a major passion for divergence trading. I hope you uh, learned something here today from all my, you know, chitter chatter about divergence and trading. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday. Good luck and good trading.